Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna keep this uh, build series going. Here's a part number for you. We're gonna be installing a uh, hood protector today and we are currently waiting for UPS to show up for another modification we're gonna be making. Should be here any minute. But uh, let's get this hood protector unboxed. I'll show you how to install it and then we'll go from there. All you get so normally you'll get instructions in the kit for some reason this was missing so I went online and printed it out if you go on Google and you just type in um, Subaru Forest or hood deflector PDF this will come up it's four pages of instructions and uh, they're pretty simple to install this will be the third one that I've installed so um, yeah, it looks like they've revised the design a little bit. They've put the, the rubber bumpers on the deflector. Uh, you, you used to, in the past, have to put those on yourself, and they were clear. Uh, looks like they're black bumpers now. But anyhow, we're going to go through here and start putting this stuff okay, together. Okay, the first thing they want you to do is to center the hood deflector as best as possible. <coughs> and then they want you to mark outer slot as best as you can. I'm just using a wet erase marker. And then they want you to take it off. So now that we have these marked, we've got to put some protective tape on there. We're taking these little stickers here and we're putting them on. Um, you're going to do half above and half below. But you kind of want to wipe the surface down a bit before you put it on there. Remember where that mark is at that you made. And then you can wipe the rest of it off. And you're going to do that on both sides. Don't screw up like I just did. Now, if you do screw up, you can take them off and reposition them. The way to check these is to lay the hood deflector on top again and see if everything's lined up. ones have these smaller clips. The instructions kind of show it backwards from what you're supposed to do. It's kind of confusing and you can only put this kit together one way. So And if 
stuff's not lining up, um, you can slide these clips back and forth. They're pretty adjustable. Just having it on there with two screws like that would probably hold it, but they want you to do more than that. to have everything laid out um, you can see where you're gonna have to put little stickers for the, the hood bumpers uh, and then you can kind of lay those out while this is on here because you can move it around but these last clips have a little pull tab on them and they just stick down to the hood you got to screw those on there you got to take the whole thing apart screw those on there and then put it back on there as a final assembly process Everything all set up and you got your your stickers in place you're ready to do the final installation make sure these are pressed down good I'm gonna lay this bad boy up there then you're gonna start driving in screws everywhere Get all that lined up. Like where it's at, give these a yank. Spray it down with some ceramic. Some ceramic spray coating. And so for the final trick up my sleeve for today, we vacuumed out the interior, pulled these nasty Subaru floor mats out, and yeah, once again, some weather techs. They were rolled up pretty tight in that box, so they're still relaxing and forming to the floors. I know it's dark and it's hard to see in there, but way better than any other floor mats they make. So that will conclude this episode with the hood deflector and the uh, WeatherTech floor mats. Stay tuned for the next episode because you're really going to want to stick around. Uh, I am taking a engineered intake that's made for the WRX with the same motor and we're going to install it in a Forrester XT. The website says it doesn't fit. That's strange because on my 2015, I installed an engineered intake. It wasn't an engine, but it fit perfectly. So you'll have to stay tuned for the next episode. Um, that's one of the most expensive intakes you buy for this motor. But I found a deal on it and I'll give you guys a link. It's about half price of what it should be retail. So but other than that, uh, I hope you guys are staying safe. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you liked the video, found it helpful, share it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. But other than that, take care and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.